Oh man, it looks foggy outside. It does. It'd be a great time to do a photo shoot. I've always wanted to do a photo shoot when it's foggy. I think of you every time it gets really foggy now. I've been really wanting to do that. Because at one time... What one time? When we were like, we're going to get up super early. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be so foggy. It wasn't. It was not. It was just very cold. <laughs> but it had been every single other day up yeah. to that point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was still a fun photo shoot though. It was with, so cold. With my the Jesus froze. statue that you gave a makeover to. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I really like that. That's funny. My favorite photo shoot we've done together has to be the projector. Oh, I like that one. I really like the one we did in my bathroom and bedroom, but oh, mostly yeah. just because, like, with the kids jumping around and stuff, like, to look at those photos, you would have yeah. never thought mm -hmm. we were in my bathroom with two boys <laughs> running around or, like, laying on the bed <laughs> with two kids jumping around and you standing over me. <laughs> Hold the <this> CD! <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, that, I, I really, really like that one. And the one, the winter one we did... <sighs> yeah, I like all of them. Because my memories came up where something popped up on Facebook and it showed one of um, the Christmas photos that we did out here in the yard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that, that was, was in fun. January, I think. Yeah. Or was it not? I think it was in my year in review video. Oh. You know, they're doing those. Mm -hmm. I didn't share mine, but it, it's there. I shared mine. And you liked it, and my husband liked it, and that was about it. <laughs> I saw it, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Should I share? Or whatever. I'm always like, it's fun for me to look at, but mm -hmm. I don't know if like other people, other care. people really they don't. care. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Okay. So fun fact, um, I wrote all my answers down and then I left all my answers at home. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, at least you wrote them down. Mm -hmm. So, so hopefully they're still in there. In there somewhere. It was only a couple days ago. So we rattle it around a little bit. Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Today we are going to do the ultimate Christmas tag. Oh yeah. Created by Sam's Nonsense. Was it created by her? Yeah, it's her original. I don't know when I said that. Well, I believe you. Well, I do want to double check. Okay. But when I'm right, I want you to know. I want you to know. <laughs> there it is. The ultimate tag. Yeah, she's the original. Wow. Today for that an part. exciting video. It I was really loud. Boom, boom, boom. You're so smart. Thank you. We definitely did see her do this first, uh, yeah. which is the reason that we're doing it now. Nobody tagged us, we just wanted to do it. Yeah, and yeah. we will be tagging people at the end of this video. We will, so stay tuned. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tones. smile. I just had the bottom half of my lip before it's like normal again. Because the top. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I can, I can see it pull back. Maybe not quite as much as the other side, but it's still there. Yeah, I can tell. And then I still can't blink, but I can squint. I'm so happy for you though. Thank you. I'm getting better. Yay. Slowly. But surely. So slowly. Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to your face. God, thanks. Okay. All right, what's number one? Number one. What are your Christmas traditions slash routine? We have a lot because my parents are divorced, and so I have two things on my side plus in-laws. I would be here forever explaining it, but we usually, I don't know, do stuff. Cool. That's a lame answer. <laughs> We're lucky enough that people usually have them at different times on different days, and so it works out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know, like, tradition... Okay, well, my in-laws, they always open up a Christmas Eve gift. They always get everybody, like, a small, inexpensive item for Christmas Eve. Like, I got fuzzy socks one year, which I really like. Uh, so we never did that in my family, so that's something that we do with their family that I really enjoy. That's cool. And uh, my dad, we have started, when I was young, we would make sugar cookies and ice them with homemade icing and homemade dough. And so when we got older and my parents split, we kind of didn't do that anymore. But now me and my siblings have kids, so we get together and do that with our kids now and my dad and his mom. And we're doing that today, actually, and I'm excited about it. 
That's great. So I guess those are two, you know. They are. Yeah. Um, send me some cookie pictures. I will. It's fun. I mean, we just mix up our own powdered sugar icing and do it with butter knives, so they're never pretty, but it's always fun. And, you know, spend time with family. Awesome. And it's my grandma's, we call her Mima. It's her sugar dough recipe, so she always pre-makes it and brings it. We get the old school, roll it out, stamp it out. My son really liked that part last year. He liked stamping? Yeah. What are your traditions? Uh, so we always go to Spencer's parents' house uh, Christmas Eve, and the boys open their presents from them. Do you have anything like with your mom? Yes. So we always uh, decorate the tree at mom's house, um, usually on Thanksgiving, and that's always fun. And then uh, I've been making pancakes every morning for Christmas, um, which pancakes aren't special, but... Uh, it, well, it's a nice tradition. That's, yeah. It's special for you guys. It is. Yeah. That's right. So do you guys have like your own family time without any extended family? Oh, we have our Christmas morning at our house. Like just, I mean, sorry. Just our family. Just you, and Spencer, and the kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we go to Nana's house um, around noonish. And then we go to my mom's in the evening. We usually have my in-laws Christmas Eve night. And then we were doing so, my dad's Christmas morning breakfast at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm. And then we would come home and then have to turn around and go back to my in-laws for Christmas evening. So we've never actually had a chance to just be us. Oh, like man. my husband and my son and me. Mm -hmm. We've had time to like maybe we'll wake up early and just do our stockings. And then in between we like unload gifts, open each other's, go, oh cool, thanks! Reload gifts and leave. So this year my dad has actually changed it to the 23rd. And I'm really excited because that means Christmas morning is freed up for us. And I really, really want some time with just my husband and my kid. And my in-laws used to do Christmas breakfast as well, and they still do without us, but I still don't want to go to that. Because mm -hmm. I really, really want some time as just our little family. It's important. Yeah. So. It's really nice having Christmas morning at home. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Great. Yeah. I'm happy for you. It takes a lot of stress off because with a kid and having stuff like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Forget it. Yeah. It's not even, I mean, Christmas is fun and I love spending time with family, but it puts a lot of stress when it's like very rushed with a kid who's tired and cranky and wants to take a nap and wants presents and wants candy. And you're like, please, please just eat something real. Oh, look, more stockings. Here's more candy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right. So, wow. I talked a lot, but yeah. Let's I'm excited. Number two. Okay. Number two, favorite Christmas book or one you want to read? Did I even answer this question? I don't really have an answer for this because oh. I don't usually read Christmas themed books. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I say this every year, but I would like to. <laughs> and I actually went on Overdrive to look up A Christmas Carol on audio. Yeah. They're all extremely booked. So I was like, well, never mind. I really like that story. I, I don't think I've ever... I read it in the read sixth it. grade. It was required reading. If I... Oh, it must have been for me. I don't remember it if I read it. It... Mm -hmm. Oh. We read it out loud, and it... We... Who did you have for sixth grade? I don't remember sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I partied a little too much. No. Um, that was when we <laughs> had three teachers, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. I had Miss Patty Smith... Maybe we had a teacher named Miss Patty Smith? Maybe not. Maybe I don't asking. remember. <sighs> remember Miss Brown, the English teacher? No. no. Miss Richardson? Yes. Yes! I think she was my homeroom. She was not my homeroom. I think she was my homeroom. But she I taught me her. how to play rummy. Oh, cool. Yeah. She taught history for me, I think. I really liked her class. Yeah, I, I actually... I like listening I to her I remember her, and... I remember she stood, did a headstand in our class. If all of us got really good grades on our test, she said she would do a headstand, and she did. Wow. So that's what I remember. She did a headstand, and she taught us how to play rummy. <laughs> that's, She's a teacher. That's what I took away from that class. <laughs> that's my sixth grade year. Oh, I, did a, um, I did a report on, the, uh, on Venus. Or no, Aphrodite. Oh, cool. And I dressed up like a goddess in her class. 
Mm-hmm. Who, who was the other teachers? I don't remember. Let's move on. Okay, so Christmas Did we say book. our answer? No, I oh. don't, I don't really have one. Oh. So, I mean, if, if I had to pick a book that gave me Christmas feels, I would either say Harry Potter or Little Women. Mm-hmm. Because we read Little Women last year together. But you weren't super all about Little Women. No, I wasn't. But it definitely gives me those Christmas vibes. Sure. But I don't really have a Yeah, I don't have one. a favorite Christmas book, mm -hmm. unfortunately. I would like to. Maybe we need to branch out. Yeah, into Christmas stories. Next year. Okay. <laughs> Next. We'll see. I just, I don't know. They're mm -hmm. not really what I'm drawn to. Yeah, I read a few. I read one in high school that was like a love story, but it wrapped around Christmas time. Yeah, I think, mm -hmm. in my mind, most Christmas stories are love stories, and I'm not really one to want to read yeah. romance novels. Mm -hmm. We should watch some Christmas recommendation book videos. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let us know if you have one. Yeah, like a favorite Christmas story. Yeah. Book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Thanks. Three. What is your first Christmas memory? Um, I don't remember specifically my first one, mm -hmm, but sure. I am one of five, six, six children, and so I always remember there was four of us that are a year apart, and we all shared a room, <laughs> and growing up, we would take turns, like, peeking under the door of our bedroom every so often to see if, like, our stockings were full yet, and then we would sneak out and play with everything in the middle of the night. <laughs> And then put it all back. Oh my gosh. So uh, we did that a lot. And that was really fun. Because we would just. Somebody would always just peek under the door. And go. No. No there's nothing out there yet. And then peek again. And there would be something there. And we would wake up everybody else. And be like. Come on. And we would eat some candy. And one year we got um, balloon kits. To like make balloon animals. That was really fun. So. <laughs> did you play with it in the middle of the night? I. Don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Because we didn't open anything. Yeah. But we would, like, look at everything and be like, Ooh. Uh We did ride bikes one time in, in the house in the middle of the night when we got bikes. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's the perks of having, like, a lot of siblings. Did you ever get caught? Uh, no, but, I mean, they, they totally knew that we did that, though. Really? How did they know if you didn't get caught? Does it make sense? I mean, there's, like, five, six of us in a house. I'm sure we weren't exactly quiet, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. especially riding bikes and stuff, but That's I don't, I don't think they've minded. Your you childhood know? was very different than mine. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah. It sounds like fun though. It was fun. That's great. Yeah. I just remember being with my siblings and all of us checking everything out and then uh, waking up very early to harass our parents to get up, so... That's cool. Oh, actually, here's a really fun one that's kind of a tradition as well that we haven't done in years. So, being so many children, uh, mom and dad got sick and tired of us always trying to sneak around and find out what we were getting for Christmas. I mean, we were sneaks. We would, like, hunt down receipts in their bedroom, and we would try to fit, we're like, okay, well, they bought two CD players. Who asked for a CD player? Okay, okay, well, you probably got it. All right, let's see. You know, we were just so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And so, they decided, I mean... I don't know when, but they decided to number our presents instead of putting names on them. And as they wrapped them, they would just write, okay, who's that one? Uh, number one, Christina. Number three, Dennis, or whatever. There was no pattern to it, ever. And so we didn't even know whose gift was whose. Mm -hmm. So Christmas morning, we would start oldest to youngest, pick a present, uh, number two. Nope, not yours. Put it back. Wait your turn. And we would have to wait our turn until everybody... And I mean, like, if you couldn't guess your gift, then, like, you were stuck until whatever was left is, like, has to be yours, mm -hmm. you know? And you had to watch everybody else open their stuff if they got it right. And one year, they did a pattern, and we had all had, like, two gifts open or something like that. And we kept trying to ask them, like, because they told us, if we ever guessed right, we could open all of our presents. Whenever. If we could guess, like, whose is whose. Mm -hmm. And so one year, my dad had said... You guys always ask us to do a pattern, and we did, and you guys don't even notice. And I was like, what? <laughs> they used one wrapping paper per, per kid. kid. Yeah. Uh, so we caught on to that, and then we could just open all of them without having to guess. So, I mean, that was always really fun. And if I ever had a lot of kids, I told myself I was going to do that to them. 
But alas, I have one child, so, mm -hmm. you know. But that was, yeah, that was fun. When there's like five kids and you're like an eight-year-old waiting to open your CD player yeah. that you know you have, <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. CD players It's killer. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And then I got my Good to Charlotte CD. Wow. And I was like, jamming. <laughs> it was quite the Christmas for a preteen Christina. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I got caught snooping one time and I was in a lot of trouble. Really? Yes, I was. Um, but it was the best present I've ever gotten. Oh. Uh, which is probably why I got in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um... <clears throat> I didn't mean to snoop, it just happened. Um, but it, I was... Anyway. Uh, is that a question? Like, what's the best gift you've ever had? Because I'll save that story. Let's see. Favorite gift you've ever received, yeah. Oh, that's the next one? Mm-hmm. Okay, first Christmas memory is yeah, the next sorry. one so, I'm trying to... So, first Christmas memory. Okay. Sorry. I really sidetracked the conversation there. <laughs> um, so, I lived in Pennsylvania, and this was probably first grade. And I got a bicycle for Christmas, but um, I there was a scavenger hunt. So after oh, cool. I opened up all my presents, they said, look on the tree, uh, there's something there for you. And I was like looking around on the tree and there was a note and it led me to the computer, which led me to a closet, which led me to like my bedroom, I don't remember. Um, and then we went outside and then my bicycle was in the shed. Yo, that is so cool. Yeah, it was really cool. They do that, um, my in-laws did that to my husband and his sister when they were kids for Easter. They would have mm. to look for their Easter baskets. They would hide them. That's And cute. they had to go hunt them down. And they still do that with, um, the grandkids, my son and niece and nephew. And so that's always really cool. They have to go outside and just find them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's really cool. Yeah, that was a good memory. I want to do that with my kids sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you ever do that with, uh... Max and Abe? Yeah, I would. That's fun. I was trying to think if I've ever done it, but I haven't with my kids yet, because I'm boring. Max, is, Max is at a good age for it, I think. Yeah, he is yeah. at the perfect age. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah. Something like that. That's, thank you. Yeah. Good idea. No problem. It was um, in my mom's handwriting, if I can remember, which is how I found out that Santa womp, womp, womp. wrote <laughs> Santa... I was like, that's my mom's handwriting. Oh. And it says, from Santa. That's a bummer. <laughs> uh, one year we did set up, my dad set up a video camera because we wanted to catch him on film. And um, one of us had fallen asleep in the living room. And <laughs> somehow the camera angle got moved and just recorded a sleeping child the whole night. And so we missed Santa. <laughs> No, no one ever knew. <gasps> How did the camera turn? You know. Yeah. My parents were pretty, pretty good. That's great. With five kids, I mean, I guess you gotta be pretty handy. I mean, there's six, but my oldest brother was, like, out of the house at this point because he was a lot older than us. Mm. How old was, How much older? Um, I think he's... I think he's, like, 38 now, and I'm 27 for reference. He doesn't look 38. No, not Desmond. I have a brother older than that. What are you talking about? My dad has a son. I briefly remember him living with that us. That he had before he got with your mom? Yeah. And mom had Desmond before she got with dad. So they both had sons. Oh. And then there's four of us that are a year apart. Right. So the four of us are a lot closer than, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bless them. Did you share a room with your brothers too? No. we or When Dennis? we lived... Yeah, Desmond had his own room. And then Dennis, Amanda, me, and Brittany shared a room, and we had bunk beds. Mm. And then Desmond moved out, and then Dennis and I shared a room because we were the younger ones. And then Amanda moved out, and then Brittany and I shared a room, and Dennis got his own room. So I never had my own room until... <sighs> you did have your own room at one point? Briefly, before I moved in with Elrod. So when I was like 18, 19... <laughs> which is kind of sad <laughs> but it was fun though I didn't I don't think I ever minded sharing a room mm -hmm. you know? and by the time uh, I got in high school and wanted like privacy I had to share a room with my sister and she had a job so Brittany was working and going to school all the time you know mm. so yeah meanwhile I was talking to myself while looking in the reflection of a computer that didn't work <laughs> <laughs> wow is that true yeah That's... well I had run out of batteries and um 
I would just be like, I would talk to myself, and like this, I would be animated, and I'd be like, hey, everybody, what's going on? Blah, blah, that blah. totally explains, like, why you're into theater, and <laughs> yeah, I get it. I don't know, I just, we always, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, I always Which like talking fine. about our, our childhoods, because they were so different. They were so different. So different. Uh-huh, and I had a good childhood. It was yeah. just, I had to entertain myself. Yeah, yeah. Or, I, or, I never had to. Oh, mm -hmm. One of my siblings is mad at me. <laughs> what do I care? I have three other ones. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's true, though. That's funny. There was always somebody who was fighting with somebody, but it didn't matter because, like, there's a lot more of us, right. you know? <laughs> we were mean to our sister one time, Brittany, and we got grounded into our room, and then we convinced her to make us lunch and bring it to us, and she did. <laughs> Brittany is so motherly and she nice. Is. Yeah. She's always been that way. Mm -hmm. Always. So. That's great. She's yeah. a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Okay, this is going to be <laughs> so a really sorry. long tag. I don't mind. I think it's... I like talking about... Me too. ...personal stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. <laughs> We're only on number four. Wow. Favorite gift you've ever received. Mm. Uh, I would say my Kindle from my husband, who got it... We were dating for like two months, and he was like, come to my family Christmas. And I was like... Okay. And I got him like... <laughs> Two months, you said? Yeah. We okay. got together in like November. One month. Mm -hmm. November. Were they nice to you? Was it November? Have yeah. you brought other people to see meet his family before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, because I think he dated his ex for, for, for a decent amount. For a few years. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I didn't either, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, but they had been together for a while, so his family was super nice, and I remember, like, asking his friend that I was friends with as well, like, what should I get him? And so I got him, like, this dragon chess game thing, because he was into chess, and a Black Sabbath album, and I was like, I feel like this is really lame, and he was like, I love it! Here's a Kindle, and I was like, what?! <laughs> Blew my mind. Uh, and that was in 2011. Mm -hmm. And I still have that Kindle to this day. So, it... So read on it. I do. And it still works great. I charge it, like, once a week. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Go Elrod. That was definitely my favorite. Awesome. Yeah. My turn? Yes. Okay, so I got Indiana Jones when I was in the sixth grade. Book? Movie? The dog. Oh, no <laughs> way. Oh, is that what you almost got in trouble for? Yes. Mom mm. told me to go to her purse and get something out of it. It was like an item. Um, so I went out to the, because it was in the car. Yeah. I went out and I, there was a piece of paper and I got it out and I was like, what's this? And it was an adoption paper. <gasps> oh, snap. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> so you back. like knew I knew you straight up knew yes mm -hmm. how old were you sixth grade so okay I don't know 11 or something I was 10 in fifth grade okay so 11 or 12 something like that mm -hmm. I graduated when I was 17 I was 18 when I graduated okay 11 right. 12 mm -hmm. old enough to read and know yeah. What a dog adoption paper is. <laughs> did yes. you, how did you find out that you found out? Okay, so my friend, um, Destiny, was spending the night with me, and I, and I told her that I saw it, and, um, she was like, oh my gosh, blah, blah. and so I, we, when we all got back in the vehicle, yeah. um, mom got the paper out for a second and said, oh, that's, and put it back in, and I was like, what's that, Mom? I said it like that, because I was, like, showing oh, it for my friend. Yeah. And she was like, nothing, none of your business. And then she was like, oh, no, that mom yeah. look. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, <gasps> she was like, did you look at this piece of paper? And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, so angry. <laughs> that sucks, because, I yeah. mean, like, as a parent, you want, you know, your kid to just be, like, Surprise. And and see that reaction. Right. Yeah. But I was still so happy. Yeah, no, I totally To get my puppy and she was not angry with me in the morning, so yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> or at least pretended not to be. I'm not yeah, sure. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that up and see if she's still over it or not. <gasps> <laughs> hey, Jessica was telling me about that time. <laughs> uh yeah. So um Indiana Jones is still alive today and lives with my mom. 
Um, he is a very good puppy. Applause um, for him. Yes, he's very old and half blind. Yeah. Um, and a little grumpier. Yeah. But he was so cute and tiny. What what kind of dog is he? He's a um a Shih Tzu Terrier mix. Cool. Yeah. Cute. He's a he's a he was a good brother. That's a pretty good present. We never got animals as presents. Mm. Probably well, because there were so many of you. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> Which one are they going to give it to? I just called Indy my brother because oh. literally <laughs> I thought of him as my brother. Because I didn't have any. Yeah. You had such a lonely life. <laughs> it was a good I'm over mom. here like, I just love my own room. I haven't said so in my older adult age, but I'm very sorry that I found out about Indy before he came to us, but um, he was the best thing to ever happen. So, so Deanna, let us know. To our family. Have how, how do you feel about this still, <laughs> to this day? How many years later? 20... Uh, 21? Or, not 21. Woo! You're not in your 30s. Uh, like 11, 12 years later? Mm. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 27? Yeah. Minus 11? He's like 15. Okay, so... 15 years later? Sure. I hope Next! You're okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're so good at math. <laughs> Okay, number five. Your go-to genre to read at Christmas. None whatsoever. Right. Um, I do like reading bigger books in the wintertime. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. So, um, bigger books tend, not always, but tend to be... Fantasy. Epic fantasy. Mm, I love some epic But you know fantasy. what? I'll read that in the summertime. Yeah, I do too. So... I don't specifically seek out a specific genre. Specifically. Mm-hmm. For sure. specific winter reading. <laughs> but it I, is it is fun to have a big tome while it's cold outside yeah. in your cozy. That's when Just, I read um, the first uh, A Game of Thrones was... During the winter time. During the winter time. I read it during the summer time. Uh, it gives me winter vibe. I think, like, mm -hmm. if I read a book in a specific season, yeah. I'll always think of that book as that vibe, you know? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I don't really... Nah. Eh. I just read what I want. Next. Thank you, next. Is there a holiday tradition you've never tried but want to? I want to make Christmas cookies with my family. It is so much fun. I highly recommend it. It's just, especially with kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some there's some really good creations. Yeah. And you can tell because when they make so many, co so many cookies. Uh -huh. So many cookies to the point where, like, at first everybody's like, huh. Look at this masterpiece. Ooh, look at this marbled one I created. And towards the end, they're just like slathering <laughs> it on. Because there's just so many cookies. Uh, but it's fun. That sounds fun. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that. Uh, I don't actually know. Hmm. I know Sam's Nonsense said caroling. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that would be fun. Uh, yeah, but like, here's the thing. I can't sing. Sure. And then she was talking about like, what do you do? You I just stand there and watch them sing to you? And I was like... Yeah, I don't really want to do that either. I would love it. I, I would like to do it in, like, a big group. I Yes. <laughs> so you get to hide and <laughs> yeah. <lip> sync. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe after a couple of drinks, I would really get into it. Sure. But, um, sober, <laughs> no. <laughs> I have never seen, um, like, a caroling group. I haven't either. Ever. I don't think they'd do that here. Oh, okay, well, listen. My grandmother-in-law said that they used to, and they, she has a convertible, like a very old convertible, and she said they used to <laughs> drink their cocktails on Christmas Eve, and then go riding around. Sounds like her. In the convertible, yes, <laughs> with it down, and carol to people. Uh, and she's recently tried to get us to do that, and everybody was like, no. Aww. Yeah, we well, should Well, if that happens, that. invite me. I will. I will. Okay. I will. So, I'll let you know. Thanks. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it's gonna happen. Well, uh, for Grandpa's surprise 90th birthday, we all had cocktails and then walked around the block singing uh, bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> like a large group of us mm -hmm. with drinks walking around the block just very late at night drunkenly singing. So, there, that's my in-laws. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, um, number seven, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Ah. Uh, Christmas Day, because you get to open presents. I, I, like presents. I was going to say Christmas Eve, because I like the anticipation. Mm. I like when the anticipation pays off. <laughs> well, and I just, I don't know. Or 
Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, in my mind, is always, like, very hectic and very crazy. Yeah. So I'm hoping this year it won't be like that, and mm -hmm. I can kind of enjoy it more. Mm -hmm. uh, so Christmas Eve has always been a lot more relaxed for us, and so I think that's why I prefer Christmas Eve. That's cool. Oh, one thing that we did that was really fun that you could maybe do is yeah. we, um, <clears throat> for Christmas, I think this was last year, Yeah. we wrapped up uh, dart guns for everyone and we had a... Oh, that would be really fun. It was fun. That's a good idea. It was a really good time. I like that. See, I'm really excited because we'll have basically all day. We won't have to be at his grandma's until probably like three or four. Mm, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like I want to do a breakfast and I want to just relax and like open gifts and play and have a good time, you know? So I'm going to look up like a, some good breakfast ideas. Mm, pancakes. Pancakes. My aunt made this um, French toast bake with like Ooh. blueberries and cream cheese. Oh. It was so good. Okay. I really liked it. <laughs> I like, I, I do like uh, French toast. Yeah. But with berries, um, that doesn't sound great. Oh. I anyway. love berries. I love berries. I would eat the berries on the side, but don't, put, mm. don't ruin my French toast with them. No, I like it because it gets kind of like melty and mm. gets the flavor baked in there. Mm. I, I prefer, I, blueberries I don't want to eat just on their own, but if they're baked into something, I will eat them. I, I would try it. Moving on. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay, number eight. Mm -hmm. Favorite ornament. Oh. I have three. Oh, show us. Okay. Show and tell. There's this pretty little number that is like peacock feathery. Mm -hmm. So my family does grab bags, white elephant, whatever you want to call it. And one of the rounds was homemade ornaments for quite a few years. And my brother made these that we got to take home. And they're just different. Yeah. And, like, it really describes my brother. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah. And then, along those lines, we got this strange little mouse thing. Mickey, it looks like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, which describes my partici the participation my grandpa <laughs> did not want to do. But he made this, and it was his last one before he passed away. And we ended up with it, so. We That's special. I always really like hanging it up yeah. under our angel. Mm-hmm. Oh. And there's this one from 2013 when my son was born that my dad got us. You can see 2013, Christina, Elrod, and Brett. That's really cute. The all ties. I love it. So, yeah, that one's also a favorite. Did you say when he got it in Gatlinburg? Yes, they went to Gatlinburg one year and got it made for us. So mm. that was really nice. And it was the year my son was born, so now we can't have any more kids because there's not another bear. <laughs> Set in stone. <laughs> it, literally. <laughs> okay, mm, what's mine? You have a little story to tell. Oh, I do. Do you know it? No, just that you didn't bring oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, how did you know about my story? No, I don't know your story. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I forgot to bring my ornament, so I'll insert a photo. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Sweden in 2010. Right. And we went and visited a glass blowing factory. <gasps> and it was very interesting, very cool. I love watching those videos. I do too. I, yeah. They do it in Gatlinburg yeah. um, a lot. Anyway. I wish I could do that. Um, so they did a demonstration and then we went to the shop. Yeah. On the way to the shop, like inside the factory, they had a hall with um, where the students had made things. Yeah. And... I really wanted to get a Christmas ornament. That's a really good idea. They didn't have any in the shop, but there was some in the case that the students had made. Okay. Um, whenever um, we go anywhere, we like to buy a Christmas ornament that represents our trip. Right. That's a good idea. Thank you. Uh, it was my mom's idea. She's been doing it since forever. And Smart lady. Um, anyway, uh, I saw one in the case and I was like, how much for that? Yeah. Um, I know it's not for sale, but I would like to buy that. And um, they, this very nice Swedish man, um, opened the thing for me and um, gave me the ornament and said, "You can have it." Really? And I was like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> because this is probably someone someone else's, right? You know. Um, and no, they said it had been there for a long time, and I could have it. 
I wonder if there's a person out there who wonders what happened to their <laughs> hand-blown ornament, you know? It's hanging up in Tennessee on a tree. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. Yeah, it's very pretty too. I would be interested in seeing it. So. It's cute. Text me a picture of it. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I want to see it before this video comes out. All right. Oh, wow. Look how pretty. There oh. we go. No, that was me pretending to react to Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Anyway. Next. <laughs> okay. Um, number nine. Favorite Christmas movie and least favorite Christmas movie. Okay. So, I don't really watch Christmas movies. At all? I've seen them. Uh -huh. But I just... You don't, like, watch one every year or whatever? No, and, like, even Elf, we don't... I've seen it, but it's not like so funny. It's not like but I've a seen favorite. it so many times that yeah. it's like yeah. I don't know. I will say uh, one thing we do watch every year. Oh, I guess this is a tradition that I didn't say either. Uh, we we are huge fans of The Office, and when we put up our tree, we have the holiday special DVD that has every <laughs> single Christmas episode, and we just watch that <laughs> while that's we awesome. decorate the tree. That totally counts. So I mean, it's kind of like a movie. So, yeah. Uh, but I do like Christmas with the Cranks. I haven't seen that in a long time, but I remember that being really funny, and I liked it. And The Family Stone. Uh, oh, yeah. Which it, I thought was really funny. But I haven't seen either one of those in years. Mm. And uh, least favorite, again, meh. if I had to say, I would just pick, like, any generic Hallmark one, because my stepmom watches them a lot. Yeah. And... <laughs> My husband and I sat down and I was like, let's watch just a cheesy Christmas movie. This was a couple weeks ago because my stepmom watches them. And we got through like a quarter of it. And I was like, no. I can't do Hallmark no. movies It anymore. was like Girlfriends of Christmas Past. And it was this ex, <laughs> this girl who got dumped and she got with two of his exes. And they were like, let's ruin his life. Yeah. And I was just like, she is insane. <laughs> you made the right move by dumping her. Let's move on. Yeah. For it real. was weird. They're just not very well written. No. No. They need better writers. Yeah. So I kind of lean more towards like the comedy genre of Christmas movies. Mm. Well, how Like you... Just Friends. That one's hilarious. Just Friends. Just Friends. With uh, Ryan Reynolds and he's like chubby but then he gets hot and he goes back to his hometown <laughs> and wants to get with the girl. Oh my gosh. I haven't and seen Dusty, that you know, Dusty plays a guitar, wins all the kids over. I don't remember that. And he's an EMT. It's been a long time since I saw that. Yeah. I like, I know that's not a great movie. Uh, I um, think it's hilarious. What's the girl's name? I, I can picture she's blonde. Yeah. Uh, it's not Anna Ferris. Yeah. No, it's not. Anna Ferris. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You want to bet? Okay. I'm not entirely sure, but. <gasps> You're Anna right. Ferris. Oh, I was thinking that said her. It. Oh. That's why. Yeah, They're both that's blonde. True. Amy Smart? I've not, I've not heard of her. I forgot Anna Ferris was in there, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. She played the pop singer. Plop singer? <laughs> oh, yeah! Pop singer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. She was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a... Oh, that's a funny movie. That's a good movie. Um, you should see The Holiday. Oh, I have seen that. You have? Oh. With Jack Black? Yes. And they switch houses? Yes. Yeah, I, I like that one. I love that movie. I actually watched that last year, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why, because I recent. thought you hadn't seen it. No. I remember us talking about it before, and I hadn't. Oh, okay. But I did You didn't tell me you watched it. it. Yeah. I don't... When did I watch it? I'm pretty sure it was last year. I love that movie. It's a pretty good movie. I want to watch it this year. It was sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I had a was, crush on Jack Black. Yeah, it was... That's what threw me off, though, because he's such a comedic actor in my mind. I mean, obviously. He was serious in that movie. He, but also, he was. But, uh, and really good. And, and it, yeah, he did a good job. But also funny. Yeah. Is that one your favorite? Yeah. Do you have a least favorite? Uh, no. Okay. Ten. Online shopping or in store? Hmm. Online. <laughs> I do love online. I also like. I like shopping in store, but if we're talking like Black Friday, uh, online. And you could get weird stuff that you can't get in store. Yeah. I bought pickle flavored uh, candy canes online the other day. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. I just discovered Elrod does not, he hates, he loves pickles. He hates sweet pickles. I oh, love I sweet pickles. I don't like pickles. sweet pickles. What is wrong with you people? Sorry. <laughs> Elrod said they're not even sweet. I said, yes, they are. No. 
They're nasty. No, they're so good. No. Do you like olives? No. I hate olives too. Um, I won't lie about it to you. What? Oh, sorry. How I Met Your Mother? Have you seen that show? Oh, not all of it. In a relationship, Marshall, he lies about liking olives because Lily hates him. So he's like, but I always eat your olives. And he actually really doesn't like them or vice versa. I don't remember. Mm, that's funny. Okay. No, I, I don't like olives. No, me neither. Especially the green ones. I just don't eat any. Good times. So I'm saying I don't like them. And by saying I just don't eat any of them, what I'm really saying is never really ate them. What? I just don't. <laughs> You've never <laughs> eaten an olive? I mean, and maybe you just if, say I'm, you don't if like I it? missed picking one off a of pizza and I ate it, then I guess I've eaten one. But I'm not eating that. They're like weird eyeballs and the texture. <laughs> I've never eaten one, but I imagine the texture is like a popping because it's like kind of, they no. look a little firm. Yeah. And so, uh, to me, in my mind, they have like a mushroom texture. And I say I don't like mushrooms when I've not actually had a mushroom, but like. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've not ever had a mushroom? I mean, if I forgot to pick one off my pizza. Oh my God. <laughs> That's insane. I'm a very picky eater. But you don't even know if you don't like but it. But I'm a texture eater and just the look of them makes me feel like they have a gross texture. And so I'm like, <laughs> nope, don't like them. Elrod's You're an adult now. Yeah, but you yeah, I can eat what it. I want. You could try it. Well, Elrod's friend claims and that he's allergic to bell peppers when he's not. He just doesn't like them. So he tells people he's allergic You're to them. You're deflecting. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying he's worse, so at least I'm not that bad. Well, other people murder other people, and that doesn't have anything what does to that do with this. Exactly! <laughs> See? They're worse than I am! <laughs> what? I like feta cheese. Me too. <laughs> Great. I mean, that's different. Okay. <laughs> Online shopping. Ah. Uh, yeah. Did I answer? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just move on. Okay. Number 11. Favorite Christmas song and least favorite Christmas song. Okay. What? I really like Baby It's Cold Outside. I know That's what, me there's too. a lot of stuff around it. Mm -hmm. It's a product of its generation. It's yeah. a song. Can we leave it at that? You know, the people who wrote that song were married. See? And and they... What's they, the problem? They made it up just to for fun at parties. It's a cute little song. I really like the duet. Mm -hmm. It's... I like the melody. It's very pretty. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Lady Gaga and uh, I saw Gordon that. Levitt. I watched it, and it said that you had already watched it. So when I was on YouTube, I watched it again. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know it'll show when it's watched. Yeah. I was like, oh, ooh, yeah, yeah. I really liked theirs because they did like the gender role reversal. That yeah, was cool. That was fun. I like that. My favorite song uh, to listen to at Christmas time is. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. My favorite song to listen to at Christmas time is. Why do I keep forgetting it when I come I to know. it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold Just on. yell it out. Little drummer boy. Yes. Ba 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 ba. Are you Angela Kinsey? Kinsley? Mm. From the no. Office. That's her favorite. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, specifically when David Bowie and Bing Crosby. Oh. Sing this uh -huh. song. I didn't get if that you... in depth with artists or whatever. I was just like, I don't know. Mm. Well, I love that version. Okay, I'm gonna have to listen to it. It's really beautiful. If you watch it on YouTube, they have this whole skit where they pretend like they don't know who the other person is or something. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of funny. Okay. And cheesy, but I really love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that when we're done filming. Okay. Okay. Uh, so least favorite. Yes. I don't listen to a lot of Christmas songs mm -hmm. except like what happens to be on the radio, and a lot of them are like the older Christmas songs. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. as opposed to like newer pop artists do Christmas songs and like I don't listen to that stuff. Right. Sure. But the one song everybody loves or talks about and I don't like this artist at whatsoever. I don't like her as a person. I hear terrible things about her. Not that I know her. Oh my god, what? Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You. I Oh I love hate. that song. <laughs> I do not like that song. I love that song. But I also don't like her. I don't like her music, and I've heard that she is not nice to assistants. Oh. Yeah. Well, I love to hear her sing, and I think she has the voice of an angel. She's a good singer. And I love that song. I just... Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I've never really, like, liked her ever. And then she got with Nick Cannon, and I was like, what? Which I think was everybody's reaction. Which is so weird. Uh, well, they're not together anymore. No, they're not. They had twins, though, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I don't know. I just, uh... I don't want to. I don't want to hear that song. Play something else. Oh, I will be happy if I never hear "Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer." I was literally gonna say that I'd rather listen to that song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate it. I just think like it's funny, but it's "Grandma so Got Ran Over by a Reindeer." Oh, it cringes. <laughs> Come home from, from my house Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. I don't want to sing the whole song right now, but now it's like... Also like rocking around the Christmas tree. Is that what that's called? What is rocking it called? around the Christmas tree. I don't love that song. Happy holiday. No. Oh. I also don't like uh, hippopotamus for Christmas. Okay, everybody's talking about that, and somebody at work was singing that, and I... Why? I've never... Why are people talking about it? I don't know. Somebody started singing it at work the other week. Oh. But I've never heard that song in my entire life. Never. Mm. Well, it's awful. That's why. Okay. Nobody likes it. All right. Because <laughs> she was like, you know that song, right? And I was like, no. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's part of the, my two front teeth. Oh, my yeah. My two front teeth. Yeah, I don't really care for that either. Hippopotamus for Christmas. Why, though? They're, I like, don't... really aggressive animals. <laughs> and Somebody then... needs to do some research before they ask for things. Okay, number 12, we made it. It's the last one. I'm so glad. It's only been 50 minutes. Ooh. <gasps> what is your favorite Christmas flavor? Eggnog. Oh. I only have it at Christmas time. <laughs> Here's the thing. What? I don't like eggnog. Have you had it? No. Oh my gosh, you can't say you don't like something. Yes, I can. Know. I'm an adult. I can say what I want. It's a lie, though. So, I'm an adult. I can lie. Sure. I've never had eggnog, but in my mind, it's milk and raw eggs, and I don't like no, either one of those it things. It is not like that at all. You need to try you some eggnog, and that's what I'm getting you for Christmas. I, no! You have to eat it. I'm not going to. it. No. You're not going to try it? I will for you. If I bought you some for Christmas, yeah. you want to try it? Well, don't buy me a whole thing of it. Buy yourself one, and I'll try some of it. <laughs> Okay, but what if you end up liking it? Well, then, I'll... I don't know. I don't think I will. What is it? <laughs> you don't know? No, I don't know. Is it like milk? I don't like milk. I don't drink milk. It doesn't taste like milk. Does it taste like eggs? Because I'm not a big fan of it eggs. It doesn't taste like eggs. Why do they call it eggnog? I don't know. Is it like It has thick? its own flavor. Is it like a melted vanilla milkshake? Yes. Is it really? Yeah. Cause that sounds, is that okay? That sounds delicious to me. That's what it like, yes. I don't know though. But it has its own distinct flavor. And I, you only... So it's not like a melted vanilla milkshake. It is consistent wise. Like consistency wise. Okay. Hold on. Hello? Hey. Um, we'll be done very soon and I'll come home. Okay, I'll head that way. Love you, bye. We have talked so much. We're Jessica really is late for a family holiday party. I'm not late. I'm going to be on time if I leave right now. Okay. Okay. So, eggnog, I will try it. Good. If you buy some. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, vanilla. I love vanilla. It's not a Christmas flavor. I know, but like, I don't know. I oh. Do you like cinnamon? That's kind of a Christmas Ooh, flavor. cinnamon. I, I do love cinnamon. I like and cinnamon. like peppermint. No. It's all right. I'll it's like okay, it. but yeah, it's not. <laughs> The best drink I've ever had was um, my mother-in-law had made a couple years back some hot chocolate. She put some marshmallows in it, and it blew my mind when she was like, do you want a candy cane? And I was like, what? She put a candy cane in the hot chocolate, and it was so good. I've seen people do that. So good. Also, in their eggnog. <sighs> You're going to try it? I'm getting, like, real depressed about having to try some eggnog right now. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm so excited for you. I just to try new no, flavor. I don't know. I have pre preconceived notions in my head about it, mm -hmm. and I just need to like let it go because if I think too much about it, I'll just convince myself that I don't like it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you will try it for me. I will try it for you on camera. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll do it on camera. You want to bring it next weekend when we Yes. Film? Okay. I'll do that. For Jessica, I will try eggnog. Thank you. I don't want to try olives or um, mushrooms, though. I do draw the line. There. Okay, but... It's a texture thing. But you don't even know. It's a... No, I don't. <laughs> but, in, but my mind knows. That's fine. But if you like eggnog, maybe it will open doors for you that you never knew. And then you'd be like, oh, maybe I, my preconceived notions... I don't want to open doors. That's fine. I like where I am. All right. Well... <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I would probably try mushrooms for you, but I don't think I would olives. All right. Well, this has been one thing at a time. Quite a journey. Yes, we're gonna tag some people. Yes, we are. First of who, which, are uh, <clears throat> is Sir Book Sage. Also, Fred Weasley died laughing, and uh, Beards and Books. So tell us about your Christmas traditions and your memories and ornaments. And maybe what, do you like eggnog? Christina doesn't know. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for us. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Lost what felt like it all in a game Every man I've measured out to hurt me before I could ever feel safe